Hello everyone and welcome to my new video and what is this video about? Well, it's time for day two of the A to Z of classic breaks and it's B, the letter B and that stands for Bebop Boogie by Hilton Felton. Yes, classic. Lovely stuff. So, yes, basically, I am going to upcycle one classic breakbeat a day in alphabetical order for, well, for 26 days, because there are 26 letters in the alphabet, but there's actually 30 days in March, so I'm going to have to skip a couple of days. Anyway, so upcycling, what do I mean? Basically, I'm just going to clean it up, neaten it up, treat it a little bit, give it a little bit of a zhuzhu, zhuzhu, a makeover, a makeover. I'm going to make over the breaks in the breakbeat salon with Ned Rush. So the reason why I picked this one is because it's got a huge amount of really good snares and the feel of it doesn't necessarily lend itself too well to being sped up Pro probably very good at slower tempos but if you wanted to slice it you've got a huge amount of articulation on the snare drums here with a couple of rims and some beautiful ghost notes i mean even looking at it i can see that it's just a beauty so let's listen to it again let me go a bit fast Yeah, you just got some lovely articulation on the snare drum there. So let's get to it. Let's clean it up. So we're going to turn warp on and it doesn't actually start on the one. So we're going to have to uh, find where the one is. It's there. Okay, there's the one. So we'll put the one there and we're going to need to work out how long it is. Okay. Not right. Let's try it again. Go. Okay, that's fine. So, um, yeah, I'm going to sort of decide as I go how brutal I want to be with the quantization. But I think for this one, this one is quite solid. So I think I will also be pretty solid with the quantization. So actually what I might do sometimes, um, it's sort of one of these six of one half dozen the other type things where I sort of um, maybe just might line up the snares first and then um, that maybe just makes when I do quantize all a little bit better it's pretty much all 16th notes okay play it Ooh. got repitch on so it sounds all wobbly Okay, so we're again, I'm going to keep at 140 throughout the whole of this series because I think that's a nice middle ground. So I'm going to go for beats. I'm going to go uh, pretty much it's going to be the same sort of thing. Going to go, um, let's turn loop on. Set it off. And then do that thing I did before. Go a little bit too high with the pitch till I find some gaps. And then back, back down until there's no gaps. Ah, that first one is... Not really that great. Ah, my bad. Not quite four bars long. Okay, so again, we've got like quite a lot of reverb on the right hand side. Do we want to do anything with that? Well, again, let's pull in the utility and uh, sort of listen to the tracks in isolation. To the left. No reverb there, but on the right, loads of reverb. Let's set them together in mono. Now, again, it's going to be one of those compromises because I thought that the left-hand side wasn't quite as rich sounding on the snare. Whereas the right... is a little bit more bright. So I'm going to make the decision to leave the reverb in. But if you wanted to, you could just go with the left-hand side. This is kind of what's fun about this stuff, is that you can sort of demix it. <laughs> Rather than remix. See what I did there? So, yeah, let's go with stereo. I think it already sounds so good as it is. I'm just going to drum bus it. Is this just drum bus, really? And a limiter. Um... So again, if you wanted to take some of that reverb out, you could back off the transients here. Yeah. 
there's a little bit of noise in there. Which isn't... Nah, I'm okay with it. Now I'm going to dial in some boom. Yes. Yeah, I think that's sounding pretty nice to me. So I'm going to make a resample channel now. Make a new track. Uh, set it to resample. I'm going to call this one Bebop Boogie Dash Ned Rush. Oh, not like that. And I'm going to set it off. And then I'm going to record it once it's done one pass. So the compressor is all nice and warmed up. Here we go. We are resampling. And it's all looking pretty good. Beautiful. Stop. So if we were to sort of make a comparison here, you can see how much more life this one's got, but we're, we're not squashing it too much and all the transits are pretty nice and dead on. I think that sounds uh, pretty good to me. Yes, lovely. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, a lovely break, I think, for if you want to sort of just have loads of snares, if you want like a super humanized kind of um, feel in your break beats, then you can't beat just having loads of different articulations on the snare. And this has got loads, including some beautiful ghost notes, a few little kind of little, little rolls, little, there, little, little rolls there. And that lovely like rim rim there rim shot what did you call it on the outside it's wonderful if you go a little bit fast though it can get a little bit well actually with re-pitch on so i think it's probably a little bit one that's a little bit better for slower tempos okay so i'm going to save that and that is Breakbeat B for the A to Z of Classic Breaks on the Ned Rush channel. I'm going to go and put this on my Patreon now and, uh, yeah, join up and take part in this fun little thing I'm doing. I don't know why. <laughs> it's because uh, have a, I'm having a phase of trying to upload content every day. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of doing me some good. I want to keep, keep with it. So, so there you go. See you tomorrow for C in the A to Z of Classic Breaks. Nice one. See you later.